Thanks for joining me for today's Quick Tips guitar lesson. In this short lesson, I'd like to talk about why it's important to learn a melody for a standard in at least two different octaves of a guitar. Now, when I teach guitar um, lessons on Skype and stuff, I have a lot of people come to me and they've learned like a really nice, uh, complicated chord melody arrangement of a tune. I say, oh, that's, you know, that sounds really nice, but can you just play the melody in single lines? And uh, <laughs> quite often, you know, they can't actually do it because they've only learned it as being this one thing, this grip, and they haven't really internalised the piece all over the fretboard. And it's really important to do that because um, if you learn a melody to a standard, it's good to learn it on the top strings of the guitar. You know, it's nice to do that because we can do things like add six and then add chords, and then we can do the same thing here. and so forth. It's a really nice way to learn chord melodies and it kind of cuts through the mix quite nicely when we learn it on the top strings but if we learn it on the inner strings as well it's a completely different mood and a completely different feel and um, depending on the ensemble that you're playing with you may want to use that instead of playing on the top strings. If you listen to uh, Jim's, Jim Hall's version of Autumn Leaves, the uh, duo version that recorded with uh, on Carter, Ron Carter, he um, plays that on the middle strings of the guitar and it creates a really dark, moody effect to the song and uh, of course Ron Carter's uh, playing is great as well because he fills in the gaps that uh, Jim Hall leaves. So, you know, that's why it's really important to learn the melody in different octaves. It can create a different mood. And also as well, you know, if you're playing with um, a piano player um, and they're playing the chords, sometimes playing the melody like that it sounds too clunky with chords so you might just want to play it in single lines but if you play it in single lines on the top strings yeah, it doesn't sound too bad but to me I, I really like the sound of this the melodies on the, uh, the middle strings really and uh, you know guitarists like Tao Fado they always played melodies on the middle of strings because they played a lot of bebop melodies um, you know like you know on Ophology if you played that on the top string it sounds okay but it has this really nice deep warm sound if you play it on the middle strings of a guitar so you know when you learn any new standard what I suggest you do is learn it first on the top strings you know because then you can add the chords to it but don't forget to learn it on the middle strings as well and it should really help you out when you're um, you know playing it with a piano player or even with another guitarist as well so it's just great to have two different options two different colors and ways that we can play the melody to your standard on the guitar so i hope you've enjoyed this uh, quick tips guitar lesson if you did enjoy it please uh, give this video a like and if you subscribe to this youtube channel you'll get free access to all the latest jazz and blues guitar lessons that i post so uh, thanks again for joining me and i uh, hope to see you soon <laughs>